very warm welcome to each one of you. Today is an extremely important day for all of us as history is going to be created. How and why that will gradually get revealed to all of you. But before that, it's indeed an honor to welcome the eminent personalities who are here with us today. I would like to welcome Minister of Communication and Information Technology, Government of India, Mr. Kapil Sibyl. We have with us Mr. Sunil Bharti Mittal, Chairman and Managing Director, Bharti Airtel Limited. A very warm welcome, sir. And Mr. Sanjay Kapoor, CEO, Bharti Airtel Limited, India and South Asia. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. May I now request Mr. Mittal to kindly come up and address the August gathering. Thank you. A very good morning to all of you. At the outset, let me express my deep gratitude to Mr. Kapil Sibyl, who's taken the time out from his very busy schedule to be with us at this very, very important day here in the city of Kolkata. My very warm welcome to members of the media, and I can see some similar, uh, familiar faces. People I have walked this journey for over a decade and a half, and many new journalists who have joined this exciting sector. I can spot Kalyan sitting right here in the audience, and I'm sure by the time I leave, I'll be probably able to meet many of the old hands who have seen this sector develop and blossom into one of the world's finest telecom stories. I'm delighted to be here this morning and to see the same excitement that we witnessed nearly 16 years back when mobile telephony was first launched in India, in this very city, on this very network. Today, when India is ushering the broadband revolution through the launch of 4G based on TDLT technology, it is the same very network, it is the same city, and the big grand story that this country crafted for itself on mobile telephony should follow the same trend in the 4G story as well. All of you have heard uh, Mr. Sibyl's vision of providing broadband in the hands of all, everyone in the country, in urban or rural India, the same story of mobile phones in the hands of rich and the very poorest of the poor. And so we are committed to your vision. And today the start that we are making here in Kolkata should revolutionize the very idea that you have in your mind of providing broadband services to one and all at most affordable rates. What are the key features of what is happening today? I think the first and foremost is that India, for the first time ever, will be launching a technology shoulder to shoulder with the rest of the world, in some manner perhaps ahead of many in the world. Fourteen months back in Barcelona, a group was set up between China Mobile, Bharti Airtel and SoftBank called GTI which signed the commitment towards standard for TDLTE for the Asian uh, region. And I'm very pleased that some more operators have also joined this club now, making TDLT a real possibility in our parts of the world. This, in fact, is much more powerful in terms of speed and capacity as compared to FDLTE, which has been launched by Verizon and many others in Europe. LTE stands for long-term evolution, which means that this will be the platform on which the future broadband will be developed for several decades to come. It is my belief that the leadership that Bharti Airtel is giving in launching this standard here in India will be emulated and followed by all others who have got the BWA licenses. It is my belief that they will commit to this technology and join in creating an ecosystem around TDLTE because we will need more devices, we will need more dongles, smartphones, tablets to make this ecosystem work in a very efficient and affordable manner. If some of you will recall, Bharti took its commitment into GSM way back in 92 when we applied for the first license 
and started services in Delhi. There was a storm that built up through the CDMA technology. We stood firm and batted on the side of GSM technology, even against some very strong advice that we must switch to CDMA. We were very clear that the right technology is the one which is most vastly used and is massified. And GSM was clearly one of those. I am excited. We at Bharti Airtel are excited. And I have no doubt that this excitement should spread across the country by way of India finally becoming a truly broadband nation. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. I would request for the AV to be played. Ladies and gentlemen, please have a look. Gentlemen, now time to unveil the transformation of the fastest wireless internet experience 4G. I request our Honorable Minister, Mr. Sibyl, to kindly do the honor. Sir, kindly click the button to do the unveiling. So. <laughs> Bengal always yearns for change and always sets new milestones. It was way back on July 31, 1995 that yet another milestone was set in Calcutta when the 2G network was launched for the first time in India. Today, on the 10th 
of April, yet another milestone has been reached, which is the launch of the 4G network. And the distinction for that goes to Sunil, Mittal, China Mobile, and ZT for having given this network to the people of India. Congratulations. They say that business opportunities are like buses. There's always one along the way. And Sunil Bharti is not the one to miss the bus. He's always, in fact, ready to catch the next bus forward. Not just catch it, but take it to its appropriate destination. This is the beginning, Sunil, of that bus journey. And I know that you will take it to its appropriate destination for the people of this country. When the 2G network was launched, I remember one never thought that it would bring about the revolution that it did. 900 million people have mobile phones in this country. And the reason for that is that the cost of the mobile phone is five, six, seven, or 800 rupees so that the Aam Admi in this country can have access to a mobile phone and can connect with his family anywhere in India. That's brought about a revolution of sorts. But we were about eight, ten years behind the rest of the world in launching the 2G. Then came the 3G. And we were still five, six years behind the rest of the world. And I dare say that even though 3G was launched, the benefits of the CG are not yet seen by the Amadmi. Now we have the launch of the 4G. And in this launch, we have our sights set for an era when the Aam Admi will have access to the 4G. But a lot of work has to be done. Because even for the CG, the handsets are not affordable to the Aam Admi. What Sunil has done is allowed a network to be established. But the rest of the one industry must ensure that the relevant devices which will connect the network to them are cheap, are affordable, I don't mean cheap in the sense of quality, but low cost and affordable and accessible to the Aam Admi. It's only then that a true revolution will come about in India. You just saw on the screen the Formula One race on 4G. To me, Formula One is not the track on which the racing cars run. For me, Formula One will be when the data on education, the data on health, the data on public services will run on the Formula One track and people of India will have access to education, to health and to public services. For me, that is Formula One. And I am sure that the time will come when through that Formula One, the people of India will be empowered. But a lot of work has to be done. Sunil told me yesterday that 4G will be launched in four cities, Pune, Chandigarh, Bangalore, and Calcutta. And of course, Bangalore will spread throughout Karnataka and Pune will spread throughout Maharashtra. But that's not an easy journey because for it to spread, it means that we will have the appropriate devices which will connect to all the networks and give affordable and accessible services to the Amadmi of this country. That requires innovation in India that requires the release of the genius of India to be able to provide that for the people of this country. 
Much of this is done outside government and I'm very happy for that. In fact, the whole IT revolution took place without the government's interference. And on this platform, I want to assure the industry, ensure, assure entrepreneurs in India, assure electronic goods manufacturers in India, ensure the IT, assure the IT sector in India, that we in government are facilitators in the enormous revolution that is going to take place through the networks. When connectivity will be through the networks, when change will come about through the networks, when empowerment will take place through the networks, and that we would have leapfrogged beyond the Industrial Revolution. That's the only way to empower our people, and I believe that it's only when the telecom revolution truly takes place that the 1.2 billion people in India will be truly empowered. The government is committed to this transformation. The government is committed to this change. The government is committed to act as facilitators. Confucius once said, he said, you don't need capital to bring about change. What you need is ideas. When Sunil Mittal started on this journey, he didn't have capital. 